All right. So we're going to do our multiplication uh, corrections now. Um, and Kyla, I just want to remind you that when we are doing multiplication sums, number one, we need to know our basic multiplications. All right, so if you are stuck on your times tables or your multiplications, please refer to the sheet. I won't have a problem with it. All right, and then the other thing is... Um, don't forget your little multiplication trick there. Um, I had a look at your sums, Kyla, and um, I was spot on. It's just silly little mistakes that you're making. Like, for example, you might uh, um, times by four, but you will forget to put on that a zero. All right, so you need to remember your little multiplication trick, okay? Um, the other thing, Kyla, um, I noticed that you prefer the multi uh, sorry, the vertical um, type method for multiplication. I'm going to recommend that you just break it down like this. So just looking at your sums, you've got B, D, and E wrong. So let's just do those sums together. All right, so B is 32 times Five. All right, Kyla, I'm going to suggest that you do, uh, instead of doing the vertical method, just break it down like this, okay? It's much clearer and much easier. So you're going to go 30 and 2, all right? And then you're just going to times each by 5, all right? All right, 30 times 5, cover up that 0. 3 times 5 is 15, don't forget to add the zero. It's little things like that color that you're forgetting. All right. You don't have 15, you have 150. Then 2 times 5 is easy peasy 10. All right. You're going to add those two amounts together and you're going to get 160. All right. So I would like you, when you're doing time table, set it out like this. Put the number, break it down underneath each other, then times. All right, give an answer and give a final answer. All right, so that is B. Okay, let's try another one. D. All right, so D, 142 times 4. 142 times 4. Okay, so this is the bigger number that we're going to break down. Just go 100. 40 and 2. Now we've broken the number down. Now what do we do? We times it by whatever we times it by. In this case, it's 4. So just times each one by 4. Okay. 100 times 4 is 400. 40 times 4, cover up that zero. 4 times 4 is 16, don't forget to add on that zero. And then, oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. It's 142. All right, so that's 2 times 4. All right, so then 2 times 4 is 8. All right, 400 plus another 100 is 500 plus 60, 560, 568 is your answer for that one. All right. Okay, so again, just break your number, all right, down this way. Put each number underneath each other and then do your times in. All right. Let's try that last one, E. 251. 251 and we times in by 5. Times in by 5 is so easy. All right, so we're going to break that number down. So we have 200. We have 50. And we have 1. Okay, what are we times in by? We times in by 5. All right, so let's just times each one of those by 5. Okay, easy peasy. Now let's give the answers. All right. How about the zeros? 2 times 5 is 10. How many zeros are we going to add on? 
2. All right, so we have it on top of 1,000. 50 times 5, cover up the 0. 5 times 5 is 25. Add on a 0. So we have 250. 1 times 5 is 5. All right, 1,255. 1,255 is the answer, the final answer for E. All right, so Kada, you're going to do corrections for B, D, and E, now that I've shown you how. Break it down, all right, rather break it down like this. I think you would get less confused, okay. All right, and then once you've done your corrections for homework, I'm going to give you three extra sums to do just so that we know that you have multiplication underneath your belt. All right, practice makes perfect. All right, so let's see how you do.